Hello, Michelle Eaton here. In this video, we're going to look at setting up an email account for your business. Included in your web hosting, you have limited email addresses. So if you have staff members, they could all have their own email address. For instance, Jane Doe at yourwebsite.com. This can be configured to work with your company email system. But I would just like to show small businesses an easy way to handle email using Google. So we are now going to set up an email address for your new website and a Gmail address to receive those emails. So if we come over to Google, at the top here, you can see the link to Gmail. So we'll click that. And if we go over to top right, here we can see create an account so we click on that and here we can put in the details for a new Google account which will be um, Gmail, email and anything else we want and we will be using some of the other Google features. So I've filled in a username, it doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's relevant to you because this isn't the one we're going to be using. Um, for our business materials, um, a password, then your personal details, um, your mobile phone, um, don't forget your country code is plus 44, in which case if you put your mobile number in then you need to eliminate the first zero at the beginning of your mobile number. And then another email address, your personal email address, so that if you have any problems or need to recover your account, you can do it through that backup address. And then to prove you're not a robot, the capture details, agree to the terms of service. And this is how I'll appear in my profile. Don't want a photo particularly. Next step. Welcome Michelle, you're all set, continue to Gmail. So here we are, get a welcome message. I'm just going to close that for now. You can have a look through that for under three if you want to. Close that. And as you can see, you can import um, from other email accounts you may have had. Customize Gmail with colours and themes. Get Gmail on your mobile phone. Uh, that that might be a useful thing to do if you do a lot of business out on the on the road. It might be useful to access with your mobile, but for today's purposes, well, that's fine. We set up the account, Birmingham Hairdressers at Gmail dot com. Having gone through the process with you, I've realised I've not needed to verify my account. It's maybe because my name and mobile telephone number has already been verified with Google previously. But you may be asked to verify your account by either text message, in which case you will receive a text message from Google containing a verification code, or by voice call, in which case um, you'll receive a call on your home phone. It will be automated with a verification code. All you need to do is enter the code received into the next page in the process and then your Google account will be activated. So now we're going to create a business email address or addresses on the C panel of our host, in our case Bluehost. So at the C panel here we're going to scroll down And we're going to click on email accounts. And at this page, we get the option to create an account. And we can create as many email addresses as we want, at whichever domain name we want. So we want to come over to the right drop down box. And we just scroll down and find the domain that we want. So I can choose any email I want at birmingham-hairdressers.co 
www.ghostbusiness.co.uk I'm just going to choose inquiries at Birmingham hairdressers.co.uk choose a password create the account and you'll see underneath your account has been created so now if we look here we can see we've got inquiries at birminghamhairdressers.co.uk in our list um, and we're going to come back up to the top and click on C panel I'm going to scroll down again to the mail section and this time we're going to select forwarders and at this screen we go down to add forwarder we'll click there select the domain and it was inquiries and then we pop in the email address that we want to forward to which was Birmingham hairdressers at gmail.com and simply click add forwarder and there we have the confirmation all emails sent to inquiries at birminghamhairdressers.co.uk will now be copied to birminghamhairdressers at gmail.com So now back over to Gmail I'm going to come up here to the right and we're going to click settings and we're going to come over to accounts and import and here if we send mail it will send the mail as from our gmail address um, that isn't as professional as being sent from your website address so we're going to add another email address that we own so in the pop-up window you can specify a name as your own name or in this case I'm just going to keep it as inquiries and then pop in the new email address that we're adding inquiries at birminghamhairdressers.co.uk we want to uncheck the treat as an alias box and then click next step I'm going to keep it send through gmail click next step um, and now it says before you can send mail as inquiries at birminghamhairdressers.co.uk we need to verify that you own this email address to perform the verification click send verification we will then send you an email to inquiries at birminghamhairdressers.co.uk with instructions on how to verify your address so click send and now we can close this window and if we come over to the main Google window and click on inbox you can see we've had a confirmation email sent now to get back to this inbox screen um, I did actually get a message saying um, do you want to save change, changes or discard changes so I, I click discard so I'm going to go back to my settings and just check they're all correct afterwards but the email has come through so I'm going to click on the email and then this is the link here I need to click on that to confirm the request 
and that's been successful. So the Gmail user may now send mail at inquiries at birminghamhairdressers.co.uk. Click here to return to your Gmail account. So now I'm just going to go into the settings and check over to accounts and import and now we can see send mail as we've got the default of the gmail address and then we've got inquiries at birminghamhairdressers.co.uk and then here we've got when replying to a message reply from the same address the message was sent to or you can always reply from the default address. So I'm going to select reply from the same address as the message was sent to. Something rather strange is happening at the moment. Um, there's no actual save button that I can see. So I changed to reply from the same address the message was sent to. Um, then go to inbox and it gives me a message saying the changes haven't been saved so discard changes click OK um, and if I do come back in I can see that it has actually been saved so strange little uh, behavior going on there but that's all set up for us now So I'm just doing a quick test um, from another email account, um, sending a message to the new business account. So we come over to Gmail, we can see the email has been received. So I'll open that, I'll click reply. And you can see here at the top, the from address is inquiries from the email address inquiries at birminghamhairdressers.co.uk which is what we want rather than the gmail primary account so I'm just going to reply this is a reply and send that come back over and here it's been received in my other email account at Hotmail. So if we hover over the name, we can see that it has come from our business address. So that's all done and sorted.